Have you been searching for that perfect cake recipe that doesn't make you feel guilty for killing your friends with a bunch of sugar? Well, have I got the perfect recipe for you, because my name is Adrian D. Holmes, and today I'm presenting Muscuta, also known as Moroccan Orange Cake. Despite the exotic name, Muscuta only requires a couple of ingredients that you can find at your local grocery store. We need some eggs, some vegetable oil, some granulated sugar, some all-purpose flour, you want a pinch of salt, a little bit of vanilla, you'll also need baking powder, a couple of oranges, and if you'd like to add to the flavor, why don't you throw in a little bit of ginger, or how about some cinnamon, but only to taste. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Once you've preheated your oven, go ahead and grease and flour a bundt pan. Muscuta is traditionally prepared in a bundt pan, however, if you do not have one available, you can use any standard 7 to 9 inch loaf pan. Alright, so go ahead and set aside your pan, and now let's prepare the oranges. Wash them off well and remove any adhesive stickers. Trust me, you don't want that glue flavor in your recipe. <laughs> okay, now that we have that taken care of, it's time to begin zesting. Be sure that you zest the oranges before you chop them open to juice them, because you do not want to mix the inner sugars of the orange with the zest on the outside, because the zest has a distinctive flavor all of its own. Once you've zested your oranges, now it's time to pull out a cutting board and chop your oranges in half so you can juice them into a cup. I have found that most large navel oranges are able to produce about half a cup of juice per whole orange, which is the average amount that is called for in most traditional recipes. If you would like to use more, absolutely feel free to do so. Okay, after you have successfully murdered that orange, go ahead and squeeze it away. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that fresh juice into a cup. Now set your orange products aside and begin mixing the other ingredients. Beat together three or four eggs along with about a cup of granulated sugar. You can do this by hand or by using an electric mixer. Either way, just beat them together until they're frothy and smooth. After beating together the sugar and the egg, go ahead and gradually mix in a half cup of vegetable oil. Now add two cups of all-purpose flour along with four teaspoons of baking powder. Be sure to be careful of how much baking powder you put in there because this cake will definitely expand in the oven. Throw in a pinch of salt and begin mixing all of your dry ingredients together. Once you're finished, go ahead and add a little bit of flavor if you'd like using ground ginger or cinnamon or any other spices that you think you would like to taste within the cake. Just be mindful of the portions because they can certainly come out very strong. Now it's time to mix all of your dry ingredients with your wet ingredients. Be sure to mix it well until your ingredients merge to become one nice, smooth, frothy batter. Mmm! Now incorporate a teaspoon of vanilla along with your freshly squeezed orange juice and then your zest. Use the electric beater to mix them all together. Once your batter has achieved its desired consistency, go ahead and pour it into your greased and floured bundt pan, or loaf pan, whichever you have chosen to use. Make sure that you pour evenly so that the batter fills all sections as equally as possible, as this will greatly affect the cooking time and the evenness of color tones in the baking process. By now your oven should be preheated. So go ahead and place your cake in the middle of the oven, close the door, and let it bake at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. 40 minutes or five. When it's finished, go ahead and pull it out and set it on a rack and let it cool for approximately 10 to 15 minutes before cutting and serving. Mmm, look at that color. Doesn't it look delicious? Feel free to check your cake with a toothpick. If it comes out clean, you're good to go and you are ready to plate. I'm going to go ahead and just cut out a little slice to taste and see what it is like. I think it looks delicious, but maybe I should check before I give my final verdict. <laughs> so, how is it? Oh, okay, maybe not. 
In all seriousness, though, the cake turned out very well. The consistency was good, the flavors mixed well, and the overall appearance was quite attractive. So if you're looking for a relatively healthy cake recipe to share with your friends, I highly recommend Muscuta, also known as Moroccan Orange Cake. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day.